Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're just going to be continuing with the uh, main story quest. I've forgotten where we have to head out to but uh, we're right next to the person that is going to take us there now. So uh, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Tedaru? I, I seen him. That is to say, I saw him. He was headed somewhere up north, by way of ferry to Aleport. Might as well head there and see what you can suss out. The skipper here can take you there. When you arrive, I'd start by asking Aldfort. He's an old hand what knows a great deal about a great many things. Okie dokie. So, uh, Aleport, I believe you said. That's, uh, this ferry is bound for Aleport. Are you riding with us? I am. Uh, 40 gil. Right, so he's just on the left, according to the minimap. There he is. Dead room. Aye, I saw him. That is to say, seen him. He took himself north through Skull Valley in the Oakwood. Was looking for a place run by his fellow Quikewern. I reckon he meant the one right on the shore of Bronze Lake. Memoroon's trading post. Follow the road and you're sure to find it. Okie dokie. So where? Uh, let's have a look at uh, where that would be. Um, uh, not particularly close to us. Um. Uh, I think we're going to see you guys once we get there, because it's quite a long trip even with the aid of a uh, Ephraite crystal. Right, and here we are at uh, Memorune's trading post, and there is the elusive Tetrune himself. Cusma be welcome, not Cusma, not come of custom, bring something for Tetrune. I have indeed a scarlet earring, uh, a word brass earring fitted with a polished scarlet stone, a favourite of the forgetful Quaikwern Tetarune. Tetarune, forget this. Forget a truffers. Tetarune swore would never forget earring, but never forget forgot. Tetarune, thank. Tetarune, thank. Good Buskron doing good. Good Buskron good to Tetarune. Tetarune miss good Buskron. Uh... Right, uh, let's see. Um, right, uh, no, 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 it doesn't look like it's much of an upgrade. Yeah, we'll just take the cash. Good bus, Gran, help Tetrune. Tetrune dead without good bus, Gran. Must give thankies, many, many thankies. Tetrune make quite poor and fire water for bus, Gran. Bus, Gran love fire water. You help that room make fire water. Need thingies to make. Need many, many thingies. Need coil pup whiskers. Need three good coil pup whiskers. Okie dokie, yeah. and where will I find those? All the way up there. Oh my god, it's miles away. So uh, let's get uh, mounted up and we'll see you guys once we get there. Right, and here we are at the destination for the uh, coil pups that we needed to uh, kill. So let's get these guys uh, wiped out. Uh, this series of quests right after the cells really does seem to send you all over the bloody place around the world. <laughs> I think once you get to the end of the Sylph quest line, uh, you get to fight another primal. Uh, I believe it's Garuda. So uh, we've got that to look forward to uh, before too long. Probably not going to be in this episode, I don't think, but uh, it will be pretty soon. Famous last words. <laughs> right, uh, that's those guys dealt with, and it's back to uh, Ketarun. So let's just mount up and uh, head back to him. We'll probably just uh, see you guys when we get there. Right, and here we are, back with Tetarune, and the rather impressive, uh, I believe that's the Sunken Temple of Quan. I might be mistaken, but wow, it's quite an impressive structure. <laughs> anyway. Tetarune, make fire water for Buskaroon. You bring thingies Tetarune need. I have indeed, matey. You brought all the thingies. Tetarune, make fire water now. Make good fire water for good Buskaroon. Tetarune, start making fire water now. Good fire water, take time. More time, more good. You come back later. Uh, 21 weapon cover. Probably no good to us. 
Headroon make fire water. Good, good fire water. You take the buskaroon. Good fire water for good buskaroon. Tell buskaroon no drink now. Tell put away one year. One year make best flavor. <sighs> Tedroon hopes buskaroon happy. Tedroon gives buskaroon funkies. Many, many funkies. You tell buskaroon. Tedroon make big shop someday. Biggest shop in Eorzea. Make many, many sparklies. All thanks to good buskaroon. Okay, okay, so back to Buskaroon in South Shroud, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, South Shroud. On to Quarry Mill. And once more, we'll uh, cut out the journey from uh, Quarry Mill out to uh, to uh, Buskaroon's Drufas. So we'll see you guys there in a moment. Right, and here we are at uh, Buskaroon's Drufas. Just uh, get off our mount and have a word with him. Ah, you returned. Thank you for saying Tetrune's belongings to him. What's this? For me? Like when fire water. So he remembers my fondness for the drink, does he? Why that old? He? I? Oh, bloody hells. Who's cutting onions back there? <laughs> he says to shelve it for a year, does he? Aye, that sounds about right. I hate after wait, but I reckon it'll be worth it. This stuff has an aroma and body unlike any other drink I know. It's going to be a long year. What say you come back then, friend? We'll see if we can't make it through this bottle together. Uh, gloves. Um, well, it's basically the same as what I've already got. Huh. Right, I'll just take the cash then. That was word while you were away. Sylphs were seen in the wood, but near no lands of their own. No, this was a place near to here. A place we've never known a sylph to come. Something must have given them cause to venture this far. More than like the missing sylph elders among them. Yeah, I've marked the track where they were sighted on your map. Go see if there's anything to be seen. Okie dokie. Um, wow, that's quite a lot of places to check out. <laughs> Right, uh, we'll start with this. No, we'll start with the top one, in fact. Should uh, make for a more fluid uh, progression from all the markers, I think. Uh, can that thing please leave me alone? It was you that was attacking, wasn't it? I think it is, yeah. Right, are we. Just about there he goes. Tell it with him. <laughs> uh, stop. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, isn't that um, the guys from uh, what's its place? Garlemald? Can't think of the uh, correct name for that faction at the moment. <laughs> Right, there's our next location up there. Uh, okay, that one was a little bit safer. <laughs> None there. Alright, uh, just two more through this little, uh, this little gully, is that the right word for something uh, like this? Uh, and on top of this rock, just hope that that uh, thing that's been attacking us has left us alone by now, which I don't think, oh no, there the music goes fading out again. Okay, that's that one checked out, and one more little bit further this way. Uh, where is the way up there? Um, or is it on the ground somewhere? Am I just being blind? <laughs> oh wait, there it is. Why did I jump down? <laughs> Oh, 
Hello. It's like there's someone around that corner attacking me as well, or is it just uh, the odd effects? Yeah, there he is. Alright. Let's uh, finish you off. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bloody interrupts. I think it's uh, the paralysis that's doing it. Right. So now back to uh, Buscaro Buscaroon. Buscaron? That's really confusing the way that uh, Tetrune refers to Buscaron as Buscaroon. <laughs> and Buscaron refers to himself as Buscaron. So it's uh, playing tricks with my brain trying to remember how to uh, say his name. <laughs> Right, uh, almost there, just round this corner. And there he is. So was that what to be found in the wood? What did you come to? Garlians? In this part of the Twelves Wood? Hmm, first sylphs and now garlians. And all in the same place. It cannot be mere coincidence. Might the garlians be following the sylphs? Tracking them or giving chase mayhap? But no, not this far into the forest. The Wailer's spires are everywhere. Imperials could never have stolen past them all. How in the bloody hells could they... Unless... Unless someone guided them through. Someone who knew where the spires stand and when the Wailer's watch. A Gridanian traitor. Uh, pants. Pants, pants, pants. Uh, these ones. Uh, again, not that good. I think it's all the ones that I got from the Hall of the Novels that make these one, these uh, new quest rewards a bit uh, useless, but never mind. <laughs> I'm glad you've come, friend. There's something I want to talk to you about. You know I said I thought we might have a traitor in our midst? Someone as was aiding the Guardians? Well, I'm thinking I may have identified our suspect. There's a regular of mine who used to dine on thin soup and sip his pint on account of not being able to afford another. But of late, he's taken to ordering my best wines and the finest cuts of meat I can lay my hands on. Were he a merchant, I'd probably think nothing of it, but this lad's a wood whaler. And wood whalers don't earn that kind of coin. By chance, I was musing on where the money was coming from when you first told me about the Garlians in the forest, and I couldn't help putting two and two together. Suffice it to say, if a whaler's working for the Empire, none of us is safe. The lad I'm talking about goes by the name of Laurentius. Last I heard, he was in the South Shroud. Find him, Elric, and if he is up to no good, put an end to it. And him, if it comes to that. Right, so let's find where this uh, possible traitor is. He's not very far away, if uh, if that uh, map indicator's any, uh, any sign. <laughs> Can you not see I am on patrol? Be gone. If you have business with the whalers, take it to the barracks. Uh, let's follow him, I guess. Not long now. Hmph. I think patrol routes and rations would fetch such price. No more than I deserve, though. Tis little wonder the Empire's risen to such heights. If only the Whalers paid men their worth. Y you What did you... How long have you... Help! 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 Please, come quick, my friends! It is I, Laurentius! I am under attack! Huh? What? Let's get rid of this, uh, Garlean. Right, is that it? Oh, right. Mini map says that he should be the next icon. I think. There we go. Ow! How did you? You just? I, I know nothing. I was on patrol. He just appeared. I, I thought you were working for the Guardians. 
Uh huh. Likely story, buddy. Right, just up this little uh, hill here. Uh, round to the left. Oh, bloody hell. Let's get rid of this guy. <laughs> All right. And who is it? This guy? No, there he is. Just behind the tree, which we saw for a second. How long do you mean to keep this up? What is it you imagine I've done? Enough. Enough, I say. It's... it's over then. I I sold maps and rations to the Empire. It was I. I meant no harm. I only wanted the coin. The whalers are good. Strong. I was proud to join their ranks. I'm proud. But they do not provide. They preach justice, honour, duty. But in the end, it is those with money who do as they will. Who live as they will. So, I sought an opportunity to change my fortunes and took it. All I've done, I've done for money. Endangered myself, my home, everything, and everyone I love. By my actions, I've put your life in danger too. Though you do not yet realise how much. <laughs> Bloody idiot. Did you imagine that you had cornered me? It is not I who was cornered. Garleans, I brought the Ellers and bastard. Permit me a question, if you will. Are all adventurers so deluded as to believe they can challenge the power of Garlemald? You would need a veritable mountain of guilt to fund such an endeavour, such as the cost of fighting great power, or of making it, or of remaking it, as we will Gridania. So that's the way of it. Swap your hard bunk at the barracks for a feather bed and Garlemald, did you? <laughs> you there, Alison. You stand at old Busk's wish, no? And you don't stand alone. Right, let's do this. Uh, I haven't got any healers on them, have they? Uh, I don't think so. Your eyes betray your words, coward. You know full well the whale has fear the wasp's sting. Right, these guys don't seem all that tough, thankfully. Uh, but this guy certainly seems to be a bit of a damage sponge. <laughs> After these trees drink your blood, I will see to it they are cut down and burned. Show them what happens to those who oppose the Empire. Oh, bloody hell. More of them turn up. I've got a feeling that can... If this is a fight bus won once run won once won, then the coil clothes will fight it. Ow! Why? You scum have no allegiances. Alright, uh, almost done here, I think. Oh bloody hell, even more of them coming in. <laughs> is he almost dead? Come on. Why won't you die? <laughs> so this is to be my end. Right, that's him nearly dead. Is anybody else left? Uh, yes, just the main guy himself, unless there's any more waves to uh, be spawned in. Hopefully not. Along with the uh, along with the length of that health bar, I feel there probably will be more spawned in. <laughs> Ow, how has it come to this? Impossible. How did you best the Empire's finest? And with bandits and poachers at your side? They are your sworn enemies. Why do they fight with you and not against you? Ah, but I know the answer only too well. Buskeron. This is his doing. His words are wont to inspire men to act. Better men than I. Gods, what have I become? What have I done? I... I am sorry. No more will I pursue this folly. No more lies. No more bribes. I will go to the Order of the Twin Adder and confess my crimes. There is something I would like you to tell Buskeron. Tell him Laurentius the Fool says thank you. I feel as though a veil has been lifted from before my eyes. Okay, okay so uh, back to Buskeron. Uh, 
we'll mount up, head back there, and once we've spoken with him, I think we'll call it an episode, as we're getting quite close to uh, to our time. Right, and here we are, back at the Drufas. Uh, let's have a word with him. Aye, Laurentius confessed to his crimes. I just had word from the twin adder. Seems he marched straight into the nest and gave himself up. The lads had quite life, you know. His mother was killed by a brigand when he was only small. As a young man, he joined the whalers, hoping to spare his fellow Grudanians the misery he'd known growing up. Trouble is, protecting Grudania is too big a job for one man, and he came to believe that he couldn't make a difference. That was hopeless. There are few things more dangerous than desperation, and a man lost in the dark is easily drawn to the glimmer of coin. I reckon he thought that if he couldn't change the lot of his fellow man, he might as well change his own. Thing is, he was making a difference, just not on his own. Somehow he'd failed to grasp one simple truth. That those things we cannot do alone, we must do together. Eh? He asked you to thank me, did he? Then there's good in him yet. I just hope them at the Adder's Nest are able to see it. What he's done ain't easy to forgive, but I'd like to think he'd be afforded a chance to make amends. But let's leave fates to the Twelve. I have other news for you, Elric. The Sylph Elder has been found. Uh, belts. Let's have a look. Uh, about the same. I think I'll skip that one and get cash again. Right. Anyways, uh, we don't have time to fit in any more uh, quests for today. So we'll call this an episode here and we'll see you guys next time.